Day three of the BFI London Film Festival brought some of Britain's greatest contemporary filmmakers to the fore. The Film on the Square Gala featured the UK premiere of Shame, the latest collaboration between Steve McQueen and Michael Fassbender that explores one man's descent into sexual compulsion and obsession. I'm trying to help you. How are you helping me, huh? You come in here and you're a weight on me. You're a burden. You want to get out of here? I could take you somewhere. Capable conversation with myself and Abby Morgan. We had uh, a few years ago. We started off with, you know, a, a conversation about the internet, really. And then it, started, then it got on to pornography, and then it came up to sex addiction. I think we were both very interested in the notion of writing about sex, but it was also about love, really, and how, how you navigate your way through the 21st century when you're constantly being bar bombarded with images and ideas and you know, internet sex. Your hard drive is filthy. I mean, it is dirty. Slowly. That subject matter of, of disconnection and wanting desperately to connect has been told through drink and has been told through drugs in films, but I don't think we've really ever addressed the sort of ele elephant in the room, which is, is sex. It's a reality, you know? Um, having met uh, people that, you know, suffer from the condition, I know that they're they're living through it, and it's a, and it's a real um, conflict for them, and it's a real battle. Working with Steve, I really wanted to sort of experience what we we had experienced on Hunger again and, and again and again and again. Think of an actor right now, and you always just come back to Michael Fassbender. Who 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 has the balls? Who has the sort of humanity? Who has the sort of um, the gift that can translate? renowned documentary filmmaker Nick Broomfield also presented the European premiere of his controversial film, Sarah Palin, You Betcha. And the reason that McCain chose Sarah Palin as his running mate was because she satisfied the wishes of the Republican right. What are your thoughts, Mrs. Palin, on Obamacare? Obamacare was rammed down our throats. You know, for me, it was like just trying to understand who these who these people are, what you know, what they're like, and what results that kind of belief had when she was mayor and governor. There was a problem when we were filming in Lemoore, and, and Sarah Palin was was talking, and I got up and asked her a question. Excuse me, are you taking any questions from the floor? I uh, know at the time. Uh, do you think your time constraints may have the last question here? Do you think your political career is over? Ask these people. Uh, you know, it was supposed to be a Q&A anyway, so it was weird that she wouldn't answer the question. Uh, and then we were asked to, to leave, and then they, yeah, they tried to get the camera off the cameraman. We're going to sit through the film tonight and see how it goes down. We, ha we haven't seen it with an English audience yet. At the first Filmmaker's Tea, we spoke to a number of international filmmakers about their latest projects. For me, I was kind of naturally inclined to do a story about children and, uh, and also it, ver it, it draws a lot from kind of my life and my experience growing up. And there were a lot of surprises actually. I mean, there was things that I knew about the people of Darwin that I wanted them to eventually open up about but sometimes I didn't know anything about their past and they would shock me while I was filming. At BFI South Bank, the creative team behind 5050 took part in a live streamed interactive Q&A presented by YouTube. Were there times when you found yourself wondering how well the darkly comedic aspects of the film would be taken by critics, audiences, cancer patients and cancer survivors? It's impossible to know is the thing. Yeah. Like you could hypothesize all day over what critics might like or what audiences might like or what might offend certain groups of people but but the only thing you really know for sure is whether or not you find it yeah. interesting and creatively valid.